Hello there, my name is Christian and welcome back to another episode of Minecraft No Cut Survival. So, in the last episode, we started, I guess we can say started, oh wow, those blocks, or those items just disappeared. I want to get that gunpowder, dang, okay. Well, anyways, the last episode, we ended up, well, I guess you could say starting the m Mob Museum. I think that's what I'm going to call it, because I think that's going to be cool. We'll name for it. So, I'm going to hold all of the mobs, like every single one in the game, in there. And in doing so, I accidentally found, stumbled on a pillager patrol house. Or whatever you want to call it. Pillager, but not house. What am I saying? I'm looking at houses. Okay, I stumbled on a pillager patrol. And, you know, because they got in the way, I killed them. And then, one of the times I was coming back... And I forgot I had bad omens, so last episode we ended up doing a raid. So that's why I have seven ominous banners. Let me set these back where they're supposed to go. In here. Hey, okay. I'll definitely take that 18 iron. How did I get 18 iron? Wait, the wrong one. Why did I grab that one? That's my question. Okay. Yep, empty shulker boxes, my backup stuff. Okay, now... Um, we're gonna put grass blocks in the bottom. From now on. I think it, that'll... Will that be enough? Let's find out. Ah, uh, barely off. Okay, and then you can go here. And you can go here. I don't know why I'm saving all these seeds. I'll get rid of them when I really need to. Wait, no. I should have put the emeralds in here. Okay. So. Wait. I think that we might need to get a bit of stone this episode. I don't know. We'll see. Because here's what I'm thinking. Actually, what if I made the entire thing out of quartz? Like, you know, um, in New York, they have that big museum, and it kind of looks like a Greek monument, um, Museum of Natural History. I think that's what it's called. Um, I can get, use that. I'm thinking of, like, making that as, like, that idea. And then on the inside, it would be, like, white, and then that would really highlight each biome well. I think that would be good. Wait, what if instead of white, hmm, what would be easier to get? Because I'm going to need a lot of it. I could either get a lot of quartz. Or I could get a lot of white concrete. And mix some quartz in with the white concrete. Because I feel like that might work well. And white concrete would be actually fairly easy to get. Because sand, gravel, I can always just insta mine with. I don't like sand. Oh, i got to put you away. Um, there we go. And, yeah, so I think I'll do something like that. So, let's see how much quartz I have. What? Did I really use all of my quartz? Oh. Here we go. Nice. Like, ab almost none. Okay. Give us a second. Hmm. Wait, no. You go in here. Yes. Oh, crossbow. I guess you're going to go in there for now. Okay. Clean inventory. Whoops. Hmm. Trying to figure out what I need for this. Because this is going to be something that... Because it's going to be an ongoing thing. I'm not going to necessarily build it all. Actually, you know what? I'm going to quickly do a bit of planning. And then I'm going to be back. Because I think if I figure out how many rooms I need and how big each room needs to be, I can build it all, and then I'll be able to put everything in and it'll be a lot easier and more organized. Because I know in the past, I've started on some builds and I ended up not finishing, like, they ended up just getting way too hectic because I didn't keep them organized. So, we're going to be back in a second. I just, you know, I'm gonna, I gotta do a bit of planning. Okay, so, 
See you guys in a second. Okay, I'm back. Oh, whoops. And that was definitely very helpful. It was great that I did that. Um, I spent at least an hour just looking through things, sorting everything out. So, um, here's how it's going to go. There are two mobs that I won't be able to bring in to the mob farm. That is, And those are the Wither and the Vex. Because a Vex can just pass through any block, and it doesn't really matter what I put down, it's just going to get through it. And the Wither, I've tried multiple ways to trap it, but it breaks through anything. I tried waterlogging a ton of stuff, so unless I can find a way to successfully trap the Wither, it's not going in the mob museum. And also, the... Uh, the boss bar that appears on the top of the screen for that like says wither uh, that's not vertically based for how far away you need to be it's only x x blocks i think so all right x and y, x and z not y so that means uh even if it's down at bedrock level it like I would just need to be over here for it not to go through. Actually, no, you know what? Let me just rephrase that. Even if it was at bedrock level, I could go like this or like this, and it would be the, like, let's say this is the line at bedrock level of, like, oh, wither boss bar, wither boss bar is not there. Even if it was the closest it could be at that X and Z, so, like, at that Y level, it would still be here and here, I'm pretty sure. So... I'm probably not going to bring the Wither in anyways, just because it's too destructive, and that Wither boss bar will get really annoying. Okay, so, let's start this out. I think, yeah, so, there are going to be 15 rooms on the first floor, and then I think it goes to, four, like, 11 in the basement, and then the second floor is going to have, I think, 6 rooms? Not too many. It's just so because the first floor is like any passive mobs, like overworld in the overworld type stuff. So yeah, and then the so the basement then is gonna be any of like the hostile mobs, and then the second floor are the Nether and End. Uh, and again, there's gonna be separate. Um, how do I say it? Room, separate rooms for different types of things. So, like, I have a zombie piglet, or, like, there'll be, like, a village type looking thing. And that'll have a villager, an iron golem, a cat, and I think I also decided to put an allay in there, because I couldn't think of a better spot to put it. And if the allays are getting captured by the illagers, that means it's probably something that has to do with villagers. So, you know, just thought I'd put them in there. Okay. So, let's actually get to building. Let me see, how long has this been going on? Eight minutes. And we I haven't even started really doing anything yet. Okay, so. Uh, what am I going to need? Should I just go into the nether and just mine a bunch of quartz with uh, O Fortuna? That might be a good idea. I do need quartz. And that'll give me some time to do some more planning. Maybe build a uh, practice uh, mob museum on stream in creative. Something like that along those lines. Uh, I don't have a date specifically yet, but in my next video, if I do decide to do it, I should have a date decided. Okay, so this should also be a lot easier with Elytra, and I probably should have taken a bit more than 10 golden carrots with me. Wait, does fortune not affect um, quartz? I could have sworn that it did. Okay. 
Luckily, there's a ton of quartz everywhere. But unluckily, I'm going to need an industrial amount of it. So, we're going to be doing this for a while. Only at 56? Really? <laughs> Interesting. This does have Fortune 3 on it, so I'm not just being crazy. Okay, why do I take damage from that? That's that's stupid. some right here. Yeah, I was going like two miles an hour there. Why am I taking damage? here. Oh wait, can I get quartz from trading with villagers? So, one second, let's see. We have eight right now. Let's see how many we get on average. So I mined one block, now I'm at ten. Twelve. Okay, so Fortune 3 is doing something. I think I get like 2 to 4. Or maybe it's 1 to 4, I don't know. But, anyways, I always thought that you could, with Quartz it, it gave you more than one piece per thing. But, we'll see. Excuse me. Maybe we'll do a mix of grinding for Quartz and trading for it, because... I think it is one quartz per emerald though, so that's not the best deal. I mean, I, that, that is just transferring a clay to a quartz block, which, you know, it's that is definitely nice, but I don't know what's more efficient. Okay, so we're going to do that. So that's one stack of quartz blocks we have, and then about a third of another stack, let's say. Bro. Okay. Getting so many levels from this, and I'm not even trying like to get levels. I'm trying, you know, in the game. That's, you know, the point. Or a point of the game to try. I feel like that's the point of any game, you know. I don't like the term try hard because yeah, you're gonna you're gonna wanna try you're gonna wanna do well in your game, okay? Now, I guess I kind of understand it a little bit like don't it, it is it's a game bro. But you know, still that shouldn't be like, oh uh just because I didn't try super hard on my game that makes me better than you who put effort into it. Like, I wouldn't say I'm tryharding Minecraft right now, but I'm definitely putting effort into it. So, and I'm trying in the game. So, I don't know. Okay, so... We're almost at two stacks. And that will definitely not be enough. I doubt this will be enough for the floor. Dang, that's the fastest you can mine quartz in the game. No faster way, other than like if you exploded it, but like with a pickaxe. I'm 
debating. I really am thinking, like, in the future, if I needed to do something like this, maybe creating this, like, a time lapse. But I don't know. I feel like it's a bit cheaty with the no whole no-cut survival type thing. Because it is, like, you're cutting away to do a time lapse. But at the same time, you know, like, this is kind of boring. And I guess... What is that? Oh, pfft. I'm like, where's my Optifine zoom? Why why am I not zooming in? Uh, I think that's a block, by the way. And then I realized, oh, right, I'm not on Optifine. Haha, <laughs> fun. Anyways, let me know what you guys think in the comments, because if you want a time lapse in the videos for, like, really boring stuff like this, where I'm just grinding for quartz. That way you can, like, see how I grind it still, but it's just... It doesn't take you guys as long, and I don't necessarily need to talk as much. Because, like, at this point, I start to just ramble about random stuff, and that probably isn't the most interesting thing. And it'll also allow me to do get more stuff done, because instead of spending an episode-ish uh, just grinding for quartz just to start the mob museum, I get this at the beginning of the episode, and then we can do other stuff with our time. You know, we are nearing episode 100, it, and, you know, I would like to have a, a certain number of things to show for it. I don't know. Again, right now, I'm just rambling. But no, uh, seriously though, let me know in the comments what you guys think of putting a time lapse in this. Because if you guys are all for it, then I'll consider doing it. But if you guys are like, nope, don't do it, then I, of course I won't do it. Because, you know, I'm doing this and I want your, in your input. So, yeah. Oh, wow. Okay. So one, two. So we have three stacks already. Yeah, so I can do this. I don't know if I want to do it yet though, because I'm I think I don't think there's anything that I could mess up with making it, but I'd rather be safe than sorry. Three stacks. Is that nearly enough? I don't think so. How much wood did I need on the house? Oh no. So, also, there's 15 kind of like gonna be enclosures. Um, maybe I can't make them six blocks long. <laughs> that or I'm gonna need to add more uh, levels. Because. You know, originally last episode I said how we're going to make the enclosures around six blocks long, but if they're six blocks long, then um, that means if there's 15, I would need to have six, I need to have seven on each side, and then one last one on the end, ish. So. If I did that, it would be 15 times 7, and 15 times... Well, 15 times 4 is 60. So it would be 120, because that's 15 times 8, minus 15. So that would be uh, 105 blocks. Yeah. Oh, wow, just hit level 50. Nice. So, bro. So happy that the piglins don't set you on fire. If you set them on fire and then hit you, they hit you. Oh. That is amazing. But yeah, 105 blocks long. That means that more than a stack would need to be done just to like line one singular row. Not even a yeah a row of it. But I think that's just way too big. Now. Oh wait, no, it's not 15 times 7. It'd be 6 times 7. Wow. Ah, uh, yes, because I'm good at math, guys. Don't worry. Yeah. 
well, it would be really be eight because there's two blocks in between. Because you know you might want to you want to make the enclosure look good. So eight times seven, which is fifty-six. We're still having it be fifty-six blocks long. It's almost a stack just to get from one end to the other. So I could easily if I cut that down to five though. So that means seven times six, which is forty-two, which is a lot less than fifty-six. Right? Wait. No. It'd be seven. Seven times seven, not seven times six. It'd be forty-nine instead of fifty-six, which isn't terrible. Well, maybe we'll see how it looks when we're. When I'm building it. And if it looks... We'll just make things that look... We can always make certain enclosures bigger than the others, I think, actually. Yeah, they just need to have the same height, which is not a problem. They'll all be... Um, four blocks high, except for... Or three to four blocks high, except for the ghast one, because the ghast is a four by four by four cube. And that ghast will have... Need to have at least five blocks tall so it, you know, can actually move around a little bit. Because, you know, we do things humanely here. <laughs> and by humanely, I mean trap them with barely enough space to move around. That is humane in Minecraft. <laughs> okay. We're going to have to head back soon. Actually, wait, no, we won't. Because I have my ender chest and I can put all this in a shulker box. Nice. Okay. You know what, I'm gonna do that right now. Make sure I do that. Okay, we're good now. Okay. I forget I have swift sneak, so I ha a lot of the time I forget I'm sneaking, and that's that can be very problematic. It's, there's no building that has quartz that naturally spawns, is there? Um, I'm trying to think. Because if there is, you know, that'd be four times more efficient than doing this. Because, you know, each time you... Actually, I don't know, is it? Because, you know, sometimes I can get up... Well, it's not four times as efficient, but it's still more efficient. Because I'm not getting four pieces of quartz every time I do this. Ooh, that was close. I'm getting, like, up to four, I think. So. Yeah. Okay. Big jump right here. Oh, I'm just bad at the game. Okay. Oh, okay, nope, we're mining our way up. Okay, there's some more quartz here. That could have been bad. That could have just, like, had me fall right into lava. Which would be very no bueno. Okay, um, quartz naturally spawning. Um. Hmm. I don't think it spawns anywhere, and nothing... Nothing comes to mind quickly, so even if it does spawn somewhere, I don't think it would be in, like, a place where I could get it in large quantities because I find it all the time. Excuse me. Okay. Uh, so I think, yeah, this is going to be our best bet. So, and I also think that it's definitely going to be very beneficial for us to mix in white concrete with this because it'll just change up the texture, which will, you know, always looks good. How much do we have? We have... Okay, almost four stacks. Not bad. Okay. Well, on top of the stuff that's in the shulker box. Okay, so it's 27 stacks. We'll get me... 
And then, okay, so I'm going to want to get a shulker box and then one more stack. Because that will give me seven stacks of actual shulker box of, I'm not shulker boxes, of quartz. Where if that, okay, that it, he is. Go away. No one likes you. Okay, we're good. So, a full shulker box, and then one more stack will get me seven stacks of blocks. So, that's pretty good. Wow, there's so much of this place I haven't, like, ex I don't want to say explored yet, but, like, having, like, taken everything it has to offer. Like, all over here? This is, like, close to spawn, kind of. Let me throw some stuff in the shulker box. Okay, we're good. I just didn't want that. I didn't want to mine up that shulker box. Because if that gas... What? Oh, the way it was just moving. Because I think... Oh, the shader pack probably does something to light those up. Anyways. I didn't want to mine the shulker box because if I mined it, and right as I mine it, the gas hits me, then I lose everything in that shulker box, which will not be a good time. We should be done pretty soon, though, and then we'll be able to head back. And then from there, I'll be able to get a bunch of white concrete. Which, I will admit, is going to be very, also very annoying. Because, for some reason, you can only make concrete powder. Powder, and then from there, you, can, you have to place it in a water source to make it concrete. Well, actually, I guess... I could always texture it with concrete to, you know, stretch the quartz. And then from there, just after that's done, just um, pour water over everything. That Yeah, that would work. I think. Well, it's worth a shot to try it out. Hi there. Okay. Oh, quartz right here. Okay, that's actually nice that I fell in this hole then. Mm -hmm. Bro, I haven't died in forever in this, like, series mm -hmm. so far. I'm level 54? I don't think I've ever gone this, gotten this high of a level in, like, any of my games. Games. Not even, like, or, like, of course, Minecraft, but, like, any of my worlds, I don't think I ever got this high. So, if I die, I'm going to be very not happy. Bro, I definitely snuck before I landed. What is this guy talking about? That magma block does no idea what he's talking about. It's actually, is that enough? Okay, I, we almost have enough. This actually might, this vein right here might do it. Oh, no! Okay, we're at 45. Just gotta get to 64. Are you mad at me? Why? Stop being mad at me. Exactly. Oh, nice. More here. You know what? We're going to put this here so I'll be able to see when I get 64. Ah, oh, okay. One more. But we're going to go like this. And I think it... Oh. <laughs> okay. So... I think I have some quartz anyways back at the base, so it'll be fine. Wait, wh where's my portal? Um. 
Wait, what? Oh, that's my other portal. I'm too high. Okay. That makes sense. Oh, there it is. Okay, wait. Why are there just two iron golems here? And a cat. Okay. Iron golems and a cat. And two cats just in the nether. Makes sense. Oh, and I think a magma cube just jumped in the portal. Fun. Um... Okay, nice. It did not, so I don't have to deal with that. Okay. Let me quickly take a look at the stone cutter. And also, let me take a look at you. Block of quartz for an emerald. Okay. I don't know how many I can get, though. Yeah, I have one block. Let's see what I can do with this. Okay, so I can make everything with these blocks. So, because of that... There we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and then one, but still, that's good. And then we can do this. You back, because we don't need you. And then one, two, four, five, six, seven. Also, I realized that the music discs should actually... Oh, wait, I didn't make a chest for that? Bro, okay. I'm gonna have to do that. I'm gonna need... You. You. I forgot to make this. This is something I need... I need in my house. Okay. Jukebox. Yeah, chest will go there. So, we'll put the music discs in here. So if we want to, we can always listen to music. But we're not going to do that right now. Maybe one, one of these days we will uh, just listen to all of the music discs. And, like, you know, that will be cool. Okay. Let me put that quartz with the rest of this quartz. Okay. Ah, yes. A ton of netherrack for no reason. Let's now just take a look, see how much space we have to work with. So, we can easily make six, make them six deep. That's definitely possible. But we have so this uh, the X is changing, and we're at five. 18, so we're going to need 8 times 6, or 8 times 7, which is 56, if you want to go 6 blocks. So 518 minus 56 is, and I don't feel like doing mental math right now, so calculator 518 minus 56. We need, we need to, to get to 462. We need to get to here. However, if we made them 5, we'd only need to get to 469. Which I think here is a lot better than back there. And this is a much more manageable build. <laughs> okay, the only problem is that this is going to have to be like just like a straight wall so this is going to be really tough to make look good if that makes sense okay but anyways so, yeah, so seven seven oh wait no it's going to need to be bigger so maybe instead of five blocks it's four blocks how would that look They have one, two, three, four. By it could always be a four. Actually, I don't think it'd be a good idea to make it a four by six. 
because it could be really deep into the viewing area would be tough. So I could always do this. One, two, three, four. Yeah, how do I not take fall damage from that? But I take fall damage from the other stuff. Okay, so. One, two, three, four. Oops. There. So. Four. So it's going to be six times seven, which is 42. And then there's going to be this last bit right here. Which is gonna be oh it's in the middle, so it'll probably be a one two like one two three four five. But it can still go four back, so it's gonna go um so this is the last wall. And then it goes back a bit. Um, I can make that line with it. Then add four and then add one more. Forty seven. So 518 minus 47. What? So it needs to get to 471. Yep, and we can definitely terraform. Yeah, that terraforming is literally like two blocks. So that'll be perfect. So it's, it is going to be a rectangle. But hopefully, since it is like a Parthenon looking building, it'll be okay. But if you just think about it, we're going to be going up pretty far. So I just, the amount of quartz we're going to need, maybe we should start grinding now. So that way I have like a shulker box full of quartz and that might be enough. Because 47 down is 47. That is like three quarters of stack. We have seven stacks, so seven, wait, seven times 64, just some math. So we have 448 blocks, you know, say, let me go sleep in the meantime, 448 blocks. So if each one is 47 long, that means I could place nine level, nine layers in all of that mining. That's nine blocks high of that wall and you know concrete can be mixed in to stretch that more but it, that might add a tenth layer or maybe it'll maybe 10 to 12 layers total after that so um i think i'm gonna end the episode off pretty soon i don't know how long have i been going for uh yeah fairly soon it doesn't need to be great and i'm actually yeah i want to take time and uh, some emeralds with me just because I want to see how many trades are needed or not how many trades are needed but how many um, trades are used before the the guy runs out of emeralds so 12 okay I mean it could be worse Okay. Wait a minute. Oh, that that. Wait. So one, one nether quartz gets a block of quartz. I could have gotten so many emeralds from that too. Okay. So I guess I'm just gonna wait for you guys to go back in stock. But I guess I have another 36 blocks of quartz. Again, it's probably not gonna be the fastest method, but. Even still, that's a gain of... Every time I do that, it's still a gain of 12 emeralds. So, as long as I do that somewhat often, I'll be having a lot of quartz in no time. Well, let me actually make these blocks. But, jump. Then you back in there. Okay. Guess I don't need this flint and steel anymore. Wait, why did I have a flint and steel? Why do I have it? I have no idea, but it is what it is. Okay. Um, so. 
Also, I I don't know what I want to make the walls out of. Of like each pen. I think I should make each pen first, then place them in. Actually, while I'm here, let me get a few. Just three stacks should be way more than enough. I probably won't even use one stack. I'm just gonna line everything in quartz because that'll be easier to see. It'll look good. And I also think that it's going to be one level higher than this because it'll look good and I can have uh, like a stair going up on each side so it kind of looks, it, it'll look good, trust me. So I can just place everything. I'll need to make a stairs staircase. Um, And it will go out a bit, I guess, so I'm gonna have to terraform a bit here. But I'll make. Maybe even like break it down and then make some steps. Yes. Anyways, we are gonna go like one, two, three. So. Right here. And then right here. And then here. So then we count one, two, three, four. Lock here, lock here, one, two, three, four. Oh wait, no, false. Gotta be two blocks. And then one, two, three, four, block, block. Block, block, one, two, three, four. Block, block. Block, block. Because, you know, if we wanna have like a side profile of the quartz here to make, you know, this look interesting, or not of the course of like blocks. We're gonna need another side profile over here, um, or else it'll look weird because it's the same side profile. So like, if it's like a planes thing here, and then a underground section, it would look really weird if this was like blue concrete to simulate simulate the sky. Anyways, so this will be like chamber one, two, three, one, two, three, four. Chamber four. One, two, three, four. Chamber five. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Chamber six. Okay, and then here. Actually, this one can be just, whoops, this one is just one. Because then here, if it's one, two, one, oh wait, no, it needs to be out one more. And then one, two, three, four, five like that and then it's gonna go back one two three four back so this one's gonna have a slightly slightly bigger one and yeah that'll so that'll look good I might move this back one I don't know yet but it's not a big deal even if I do so let's see two block gap and then we start over there so two block gap and then one so I'm not gonna do the stuff over here yet but once I have the space for it I will one, two, three, four, one, two, one, two, three, four, one, two. It's the next one I'll be able to do it. One, two, three, four, one, two, one, two, three, four, one, two, one, two, three, four, one, two, one, two, three, four, one. Wait, what? Did I mess this up? Oh, no, I just gotta, I gotta go back. Okay. Wait, what? This needs to be over here. Right? One, two, three. One, two, three, yes. So, I just misplaced this. Okay. Now, this goes back here. Then back here. Then back here. Yeah, so see, just... 
Wait, no. <sighs> yeah, planning this is awful. But it's better than not planning it because that will create more problems down the road and we don't want problems down the road. Okay, yeah, look at that. They used a full stack. Wait, did I take three stacks or did I take more? I don't know. I think I took three to three, three to four stacks. I can't remember. Yeah, so each area here is going to be an enclosure. So one, let me eat so I can make sure I have seven going down. So close to 15. One, two, three, four, five, six. Oh, seven. I made eight. Okay. So you're here. You're here. One, two, three. Okay, so I can keep you. I'll actually keep you. And just do that. Which works. Okay. So. I'm actually going to do this, though. Kind of to show that it, it, like, it ends right there. And this is kind of just going to be some blank space. Maybe right here. You can walk in and then it's like a staircase, like a big spiral staircase going up. And then same thing over here. And that's how you get to the second floor. That'd be cool. And then I wouldn't really need... To, I could also put one in the center. Like right here. Kind of like it being three wide. Or even five wide. One or... That would still give three blocks of space. Yeah, but that extra fourth block would be a lot nicer. Okay, there. So, oops, I think I'm going to end the episode off here with all of this, these random quartz blocks. Uh, this is going to be a very weird thumbnail, but it is what it is. So, thank you guys for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you guys in the next one, where hopefully we'll find some better ways of getting quartz. Adios.